Hey guys, welcome back to Dad LP Show. The name of the game is Final Fantasy for the Sony PlayStation. Last time, we investigated the Northern Keep near Elfheim and discovered that there was a king there missing his crown. He claims that the Dark Elf Asto stole it and hid it in the uh, marsh caves to the south. Now there's some high-leveled enemies there, so before we ended the last episode, I showed you how to do some power grinding at the Power Peninsula. In between episodes, I took that time to level up to level 10. Now, at level 10, your monk is actually going to have an accuracy of 32, which gives him an attack multiplier. Now, with the nunchucks on, his attack would be up to 21 right now, but I figure for four hits that he'll de uh, deliver without the nunchucks equipped, it'll be much better to just unequip the nunchucks altogether. So that's what I did, and I subsequently sold them. Now, we're back here at Cornelia, mainly because it's just a cheaper place to sleep at the inn and, um, and save. But I also wanted to pick up some uh, additional items before heading back to Elfheim. Mainly the sleeping bags, since we can only uh, buy them either here or at Provoca at this point in the game, and I frankly don't want to go to Provoca. Alright, 15 should be good. I also want to pick up... Uh, I want to pick up 15 antidotes. Come on there, there we go. Now for the potions, and we have plenty of money after doing all that power grinding. I want to pick up 99. I want to top off on those potions. And believe me, we are going to need them. Alright, so now that we've gotten what we need here, I will meet you back at Elfheim. Alright, here we are back at Elfheim. Now, a few things that you want to pick up here is you want to go to the uh, weapons shop, and if you haven't already, pick up a couple of mithril sh swords. One for the warrior and one for the red mage. Now, I actually stopped off uh, here in Elfheim during the level grinding session while I had the money in order to uh, pick up those mithril uh, swords, as well as the steel plate for the warrior. Uh, they definitely help with those necrotors. So, if you haven't already, pick those up. Uh, what we're mainly here for now is some extra magic. Want to stop here at the black magic shop, the level 3 black magic shop. We already have fire 2. I want to pick up bolt 2 for the red mage. And that's all we need here. And I want to go up north to the level 3 white magic shop now. And what I want to get here is cure 2 for the red mage. That'll fill off fill up his uh is uh, level 3 magic and for the red mage I want to pick up heal 1 and nothing else here is a very particular use for either the red mage or the white mage and now I want to pick up some level 4 magic since we can afford it come on come on get over the bridge alright what do we have for white magic Absolutely nothing. All of these spells are crap, and frankly, I don't think we can use any of them right now. Can we? Uh, yeah, we can use them. Uh, Asuna's pretty good. It cures poison, but it's just easier and more economical to just use the antidotes. We have 15 of them. That should be more than enough. So, nothing really on the level for white magic. We don't need any of that. But we do need a few level 4 black magic spells for our red mage. I want to pick up Ice 2 because that'll become handy later, and haste. That won't be immediately useful, but we will find some use for it later on in the game. And that's pretty much all that we really need here. Uh, before heading to the Marsh Cave, I'm just going to save, and I'll meet you outside the town. Alright, we're all geared up and ready to go. The Marsh Cave is over to the west, so let's get marching. First battle, and I already get poisoned. That's not a good start. Just some ogres and gigas worms, pretty easy now that we're all leveled up and geared up. Alright, that's a dead end right there. We want to go a little more north and then head to the west. Lots of ogres, lots of money. Alright, now we want to head south. Two out of 15 antidotes consumed, but we should still be okay. Just a little further. And there it is, that hole right there. 
Now, before we enter, what we want to do is we want to use a sleeping bag that'll heal 30 HP to all of our characters, and we also want to save, of course, in case, you know, we get killed on the inside. We have a save point right here. Yeah, go ahead and save there. And you have plenty of sleeping bags, so go ahead and uh, feel free to use as many as you feel are necessary to heal. I only need one right there. Alright, we have a few paths that we could take here in the Marsh Cave. First of all, we want to go north. And while you're in here, try to conserve your magical spell charges because we're going to need those. So try to fight with mainly physical attacks for right now. We want to save at least uh, one level 3 spell charge for our red mage uh, before the end of this place. So we're going to need that for a battle later on. I'm surprised I haven't run into any enemies yet. There's some pretty tough ones here, so stay on guard. Alright, we got a few treasure chests here. We want to head um, north and east real quick to get the treasure chest from this room. And it's a dagger, which we're not going to use. We can sell it later on. Alright, move. Bat. Alright, some uh, pretty insane enemies right here. Uh, we have the Crawler, which it's not too big of a threat. It can paralyze you with its normal attacks. So we'll try to take that out. And uh, let's see. Uh, we got some skeletons here. They could probably be a nuisance. So I'll go ahead and use a Dia spell on them. If there's only a few, I'd probably just stick to physical attacks. But if there's three or more, they can get a little uh, irritating. So... We'll just go ahead and use a Dia spell. And if you saw right there, uh, that was three hits that the Monk did. It can actually do up to four at this point on an enemy with low enough evade. We're up against some pretty tough enemies for right now. but So he's only getting in about three if he's lucky. But still, it's much better than if he still had the Nunchucks equipped. Alright, another treasure chest. We make it. There we go. And some money. That'll come in handy. And we have a few more here, and they're to the south. Alright, uh, let's see, another enemy, Blood Bones. It's uh, pretty much a more powerful version of uh, the uh, Skeletons, I think. I'm not 100% sure. I think it can inflict darkness on you. Do not quote me on that. But the Crawlers can still paralyze you. Probably should have gone after the Blood Bones first, because I know they can be pretty irritating. I'm actually kind of curious, what can they do to you? Alright, that's not darkness. Not like it would really do any uh, big damage to you in the first place. Oh yeah, there you go, they have a lot of HP. And the Skeleton's down. I think it was the same Skeletons we ran into in the Temple of Chaos, which means that they have zero defense. And Gargoyles, pretty ordinary enemies, but they are pretty tough. They hit hard, got a, lot, got a lot of HP. Yeah, see that? 33. Oh, at least my monk got in four hits, and wow, you killed pretty easily, didn't you? That ought to do it. There you go. Pretty ordinary enemy. But if there's a lot of them, they can be a real hassle. Alright, broadsword, useless, money, semi-useful. Alright, so that's all the treasure that we can get here. I'm actually going to head back outside to the entrance of the Marsh Cave. So, I'm going to go out there, I'm going to use another tent to heal up and save, and then I'll meet you back at the entrance to the Marsh Cave. Okay, all healed up and ready to go. I actually had to use two sleeping bags to heal up properly. Alright, there's nothing over in that direction, so I'm just going to head straight south. And here's a new enemy. This is the Grey Ooze. It can, I think it can poison you with its regular attacks, but it's got pretty low defense and it's easy to take out, unlike the Green Slime that we'll run into later, which has perfect defense, and we're going to have to use magic on it. this door and down this ladder and there yeah there's no uh now nah, there's there's no items in here in this door 
there's um, there's a duplicate chest. As you can see, it's empty. That's because we already emptied its counterpart earlier on in the dungeon. I don't know exactly how it works, but there's chests where they both contain the same item, and if you get one of them, then the other one is empty. So, yeah, I, video game logic. I don't don't ask how that works. But here is the green slime. This is the enemy I was telling you about earlier. Uh, it pretty much, what it can do is it can poison you with its regular attacks. Other than that, um, not too harmful other than the fact that it has insane defense. So what we're going to want to do here is use, uh, yeah, we'll use fire too since, well, there's three of them and they can get pretty annoying poisoning all of us and I don't want to waste my antidotes. So hopefully we don't run into too many large groups of these on the way to the, uh, on the way to the crown, because we're going to need to have at least one level 3 spell charge for our red mage. Let's hope this does it, and that should do it. Yeah, as far as physical attacks as you can see, we weren't making a single dent. Alright, let's get rid of that poison. And onward. Through this door. And through that door, and down these stairs. But not before a random battle with enemies we've already shown. Alright. Let's go through this door. There's some items here. Or one item. The steel plate. Alright, yeah. It's pretty far into here, so I opted just to buy it. Because those gargoyles may have kicked my ass if I didn't already have it. Alright. Oh, that's right. I have a dash button, don't I? Alright, copper armlet. This is actually pretty handy. Let's see. I can put this on my white mage. It's armor. There we go. Yeah, it raises the defense up to uh, four, which is actually pretty handy. And it only drops the evade by one, so we'll go ahead and stick that on the white mage. All right, let's go over to the right. All right, see, so you got an empty chest right there, and we got a cottage that actually heals up 120 HP to every single one of your party members. It heals up all of your magical spell charges and allows you to save, but alas, you can only use it on the map. So we won't be able to use it to save our asses in here. And where? Hmm. You know what? I think it may be down here. I'm quite embarrassed if that's not the case. And those green slimes, if you get lucky, you can actually kill them with a physical attack. You know, if you get a really lucky critical hit. All right, if we take one step forward, we're going to end up in a pretty tough battle. So what I want to do right now is I want to... Let's see. Let's... Mm, Hmm. I'll I'll do it with yeah. I'll go. I'll go ahead and use heal. Why not? Let's see what that does. Heals all of my uh, characters. Let's see. Uh, Warrior's doing okay. He has pretty high defense, so everybody else is good at max HP. All right. Let's take one step forward for a battle with some Pisco demons. Wow, there's actually only two of them. They're not so bad. Anyway, they may look they may look like sorcerer or wizard type enemies, but eh, they mainly just use physical attacks, but those physical attacks pack a real wallop. Well, I mainly wanted to use uh, some level 3 spell charges to cast Bolt 2 against these guys, but I thought there was going to be a much bigger group, so I'll just do it for the sake of showing what it does to them. And that is probably going to be a lot easier than I was anticipating. Okay, well... That was a lot easier. Now, you could run into a group of about six of them. In that case, you definitely want to whip out that Bolt 2 spell. Alright, we opened this chest and we found the crown. That's what that king in the Northern Keep was looking for. What Asto stole from him, apparently. Wink, wink. All you people who know the future, shut up. Now, I'm going to step off this tile. If I step back on it, I will end up in another random encounter with the Pisco Demons. That's a fixed uh, a fixed encounter point, is what, uh, what they call in this game. I can't talk right now. But yes, that's a fixed encounter point. There's actually several throughout the game. And, uh, yeah, if we step on that tile again, we can fight those Pisco Demons as many times as we can. It might be a larger group, might just be one of them. But I'm gonna, not going to stand here to find out. I'm going to move over to this chamber on the right if this bat will move out of my way. Move, bitch. There we go. Check this room. 
and we got 350, uh, 385 kill. Not very useful, but you know, whatever. All right, one more. Uh, let's see, is this the end of it? Yeah, that's the wall right there. All right, there's one more chest that we can get, and it's at the room all the way to the north here. I believe that's it. But some gargoyles have to stand on our way. What do we have here? More gill. All right. Now there is more chests. Yeah, more. There are more treasure chests in the marsh caves. But alas, we are going to need the mystic key, which means after we get it, we're going to come back into here. So we got that to look forward to. All right. Now it's time to backtrack all the way out of the marsh cave. But through the magic of video editing, you didn't have to sit through the whole thing. Alright, we took quite a big beating in there. So, before heading back up to the Northern Keep to return the crown, I want to take a quick trip back to Elfheim to uh, rest at the inn and save. And then I will meet you back at the Northern Keep, which is straight up north from our current location. It's right there. There we are. There it is. Or is that it? Huh. Uh, Northern Keep. Well, you know what? It's called the Western Keep, isn't it? I've been calling it the Northern Keep this whole time. Anyway, it's the Western Keep, because I'm a jackass and couldn't remember that. But there it is, right there, that red dot straight to the north. But to Elfheim first, and I will meet you back at the Western Keep. Also, don't forget to use a sleeping bag or make a memo file right after you leave the Marsh Cave. Like I said, it is a rough trip back to Elfheim, especially as the random encounter rate loses its damn mind on the way. It would be a shame if you got killed and had to do the Marsh Cave over again because you didn't save upon exiting. That didn't happen to me, I'm just saying, but I think the game was trying to make up for the smooth run I had through the Marsh Cave. Seriously, I was having an insane amount of luck going through that place. Anyway, here we are at the Norwestern Keep. That's right, the Norwestern Keep. Norwestern is a new direction. Uh, I don't, I don't make these things up. Chuck Norris does. I just follow the rules. Anyway, you also want to either use a sleeping bag or make a memo file before entering the Western Keep. You may find out why. Alright, here's the king. Why are you laughing? Ha, fools! Why'd you call me that? I am the great king of Dark Elves, Astos! You don't look like a Dark Elf. Okay. Now you kind of look like a Dark Elf. Thank you ever so much for retrieving the crown. With the crystal eye here, I shall become the true Elf King. You fools have served your purpose. To the underworld you will go. All right, now this is Astos. We're going to attack. Uh, ooh, let's see. Uh, hmm, do I want to use haste? Yeah, you know what? I want to go ahead and try to use haste on uh, the uh, warrior there. That may actually help. And you have nothing to do here, so I will go ahead and attack with you. Hopefully he does not use a certain move. Reaper! Oh, don't hit, don't hit, don't hit, don't hit, don't hit! Please miss. And it missed! Woohoo! Alright! Yeah, that can kill you in one hit if it misses. So, you don't want that to happen because we have no way to revive from here. Alright, with my warrior all hasted up, he should be able to deal some more damage. And... Hmm, do I want to attack him with magic? No, I'll go ahead and use regular attacks. He should be okay. He doesn't use Reaper very much, and slow too is going to slow him down. So, well, that was useless. Damn it. All right. Well, he's dead. So, luckily, we got uh, through that battle in one take without the Reaper attack effectively working on us. So, yeah, not bad. Okay, so. Astos is dead, and we obtained the Crystal Eye. That's what Matoya needed. So, 
Looks like we're gonna head back to Matoya's cave to return her crystal eye. Maybe she'll be able to give us something to save the elf prince so we can get the mystic key. But that's gonna have to wait until next time. And until next time, thank you for watching that LP show. Have a one that is good.